when you can't reduce and reuse, time for recycling. Most folks, when they take out their recycle bin to the curb, forget about those recyclables. Turns out they take a fascinating journey to the other part of our system, which is a materials recovery facility. Let's go check it out. We're here at Garten Services to learn about how recycling is processed with one of our main partners here in Marion County. Will, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about Garten Services and your recycling process. Sure. Thanks, Dakota. We've been in the recycling business since early 1970s, and we've steadily grown in our processes and in our technology to be able to accept more and more. We're a nonprofit that's helped people with disabilities be more visible in the community for 54 years. So we're a big partner in Marion County and, and part of the process of helping get the commingled stuff you put on your curb sorted and out to the markets and recycled. Right, so commingled is that paper, plastic, and metal, right? Commingled being stuff that goes together within your blue bin or your recycling bin. When a garbage truck or a trailer gets here, mm -hmm. um, what happens to those recyclables that are in the back? Well, they get dumped on a huge floor out there. We have a big warehouse with lots of machinery. Then a big loader scoops it up, puts it into a bin, and it goes up a uh, conveyor belt, and then people sort out uh, in the first stage what should not be in there. Big chunks of metal, bowling balls, shoes, large pieces of plastic, wire, car parts, chainsaws. Mm -hmm. um, you name it. Yeah, all sorts of stuff that shouldn't be in there. That stuff gets taken out in the first stage, and then all the material goes through a cardboard screen to take out all the cardboard, because that is a very particular commodity and it's very valuable and then the material falls through and goes through another screen to get the paper out. At the end of the line are all the containers, like your water bottles and your detergent bottles and your milk jugs. Those get sorted out separately and your, your aluminum and, and metal cans. And so you said something like commodity there. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that every material has a price? It's almost like there's a market for these recyclables that we thought were trash, but they have value afterwards, right? After we throw them out. All that is a floating price in the commodities market. It changes daily. The idea is that we separate everything out into separate commodities and then we put them on a trailer and sell them to the market. Some folks ask, why can't we recycle everything? Or does everything have a value? And that's part of it. While recycling is a good thing to do, there has to be a value for y'all to be able to keep doing this and, and be financially sustainable, right? Right, that's correct. And that's what is really important to convey about recycling is that it does cost money to, to do this work. And mm -hmm. also, if there's no market for those commodities, you know, when we say sell the commodity to the market, Sometimes the market is a negative price. So sometimes, not cardboard, but sometimes plastic can be a negative number to get out the door, meaning we have to pay to get rid of it. Stay tuned for the rest of our video series to learn more about the waste that you do generate and opportunities for recycling. If you wanna learn more about what's recyclable in Marion County in our region, you can check out mcrecycles.net or to take it a step further, get engaged in community and take our free Marion Resources Movement training to learn more about waste prevention, recycling, and supporting the community in their efforts towards being more sustainable. Mm -hmm.